I'm so, so excited to get there, but I'm also excited for this road trip low-key. have a couple fun stops and a couple things planned, so make sure you keep on watching. And if you're not subscribed already, make sure you subscribe, follow me on IG, and keep on watching. Hey, y'all. It's about 11.30. I just stopped to get gas. I was already close to empty when I left, so I'm stopping already. But so far, the drive has been smooth. I had a phone session with my therapist the first hour. That was our last session and it was good. I'm really glad I got to do that um, on this drive because initially last week was gonna be the last session. And obviously, as you can imagine, a lot has kind of happened the past week and there was just a lot I wanted to kind of like talk about and work through. And I don't know, I just felt like it was a better wrap up to have me end my last session with her as I'm ending this last chapter and like literally leaving. Marilyn in the DMV and she was saying damn that was fast <laughs> um she was saying how when we first started um seeing each other at the end of 2021 that one of the first things she remembers me saying is I'm moving to Miami and that I fucking did it or I'm doing it and that she's like really impressed that I've been able to kind of keep focus on this the whole time I've been seeing her through everything that I've been through and if you're new here and you don't know all the shit that I've been through the last year. I don't even feel like talking about it right now, but it's been a lot. So needless to say, this is definitely a monumental move and change in my life and I'm so excited for it. And I'm feeling really good about it. I woke up really excited. Um, unfortunately, I had kind of a rushed goodbye with my mom because she was like in between meetings and I didn't get time to really like sit and chat with her. But I know I'm gonna chat with her today and tomorrow and like every other day probably for the rest of my life. But the saddest part was hugging my dog goodbye. I literally was crying. It was so hard to leave him. I thought he would just like chase my mom upstairs as soon as she went up. But he was like just kind of standing there looking at me like unsure. I'm going to literally cry now thinking about it. He definitely knew I was leaving. <laughs> I'm going to miss him so much. <sighs> I seriously spend so much time with him and he's just so comforting and so cute and funny. <laughs> I'm gonna miss him so freaking much. So that was really hard and really sad. And I'm not gonna see him until I come home, which won't be until like end of April. So I'm just really sad about that, but I am obviously really excited that I'm moving. And of course, like, that's just something I have to accept, but it's going to be hard. I'm going to miss him a lot. And just thinking about him and not getting to spend time with him every day and thinking how sad he's going to be when, you know, my mom leaves for work and then my siblings are asleep and he just loves hanging out in my room and like following me around and he loves going for walks with me and no one else walks him. So it's just really sad and if you have a dog you know how sad this is right now so i'm gonna go use the bathroom and get back on the road because i want to keep this momentum going i'm feeling good right now and i want to make good time down to charleston right now it's saying that i'll get there at six which is about eight hours total so that is great hopefully it actually is the amount of time that it estimated but let me stop talking and get back on the road y'all y'all 
well it's only been about 30 minutes since i last stopped but i have to pee again i don't know why i was gonna try and hold it but i'm about to pass through richmond which is like a big city and i didn't want to have to stop in the big city so i was gonna try and hold it but i saw a sign that said it would be 45 minutes to pass through and i just knew i wasn't gonna make it that long so i was like whatever i'll just stop now what can i say i'm just a girl all right i'm not sure if y'all can hear me because i'm right off the highway and it's very loud but i just stopped at this rest stop to use the bathroom and go for a walk and i ended up working out perfect because my uncle stopped by yesterday with some jamaican chicken patties for the drive and i have two in the car i think i might eat one later because i can just easily eat it while driving but since i stopped i figured i would walk like a lap around the rest center and eat it and then i also have this turmeric ginger energy drink which my aunt brought me the other night apparently i left it in her fridge one time i don't know when but this is something that i would leave in there because i've had this before and i really like it so it was a perfect pairing for the jamaican chicken patty and it'll give me some energy so we love that for me but i'm halfway there so also love that for me i spent the last hour and a half talking to my girlfriend on the phone which was nice the time definitely passes a lot quicker on the phone so pro tip for a long road trip but overall it really hasn't been bad it's been a pretty easy smooth drive and this car is very comfortable i had a really really different car and it was a much bigger struggle driving from california to maryland and it's a much longer drive so i'm just very grateful for the car that i have and the day that i'm having so far and i'm gonna hit the road and call another friend right now hey y'all it's your girl i'm finally here i'm so excited i made it the last couple hours were rough well actually it was really the last hour because then it got dark and my back started hurting and i was just ready to be here and get out of the car so thankfully i'm here and i'm totally matching the whole like vibe of this hotel is palm trees and like the same color it smells so good in here and i'm just loving how cute and aesthetic the whole place is the um ballet guy who walked me up here told me that um it was just renovated a few months ago so perfect timing but i'm really excited to be here i need to go back down and like park my car because it's just idling out front but i'm gonna go do that and then situate myself a little bit i might go for a walk because i just need to like stretch my legs but I will either check in with y'all in a little bit or just see you tomorrow because I'm pretty tired. Okay, so I just went to park my car in the garage around the corner because it's a little bit cheaper. It's still 30 a night, which is annoying, but maybe the person manning the garage will be in a good mood when I leave and let me out. Fingers crossed for lucky girl syndrome, <laughs> but it's like 7.30ish now. It's still on the early side, but I'm fucking tired y'all from this drive. So I'm not sure if I'm going to be doing much of anything. I thought I was going to go for a walk, but I feel like between walking up here and then walking back down to my car and then walking back from the garage, I think that's enough walking for now. I think I kind of want to just lay down like on my stomach and I was starting to get cramps in the drive. So I feel like I'm about to start my period and I just don't want to do too much. It's also like a little bit chilly and obviously dark out. So don't really want to be out in these streets. So I think I might stretch a little on the yoga mat in the rooms, make myself comfortable, eat some of my leftovers, and just chill for the rest of the night. I'm really looking forward to that.
okay here is the final look cute and casual i'm probably gonna be cold because like i said it's cold out but i'm gonna wear a trench coat over this that i can like you know fold and cinch in at the waist so hopefully that keeps me warm enough like i said i also low-key might go to h&m to see if they have any jackets or like lightweight little jackets that i could put over and potentially keep and use in miami or just return later because you know i'm the queen of buying stuff on vacation and then returning it after no shame whatever so i'm gonna head out because it's already noon and i'm antsy to like go explore i literally haven't seen any of charleston in the daytime so let's go head out and see what we can find H&M was a complete fail. They didn't have any coats or jackets whatsoever, but I think I'll be fine because it feels pretty nice in the sun. So I'll just make do with what I have. the campus of College of Charleston and it's so peaceful and pretty here. I don't even know if I'm <laughs> allowed to be sitting here where I am, but it's just a very peaceful little garden that I passed by and I was like, you know what, that is calling my name. But I'm having kind of like a weird out of body-ish <laughs> experience walking around here. I don't know if that's the best way to describe it, but my cousin, the one that lives in Israel, who's like my best friend pretty much, she went to college here and she graduated like 10 years ago so i'm just trying to imagine like her living here and it's just weird because it was so long ago for her and for me it was still 10 years for me but yeah i don't know it's a really cute little area i don't see myself uh, like i wouldn't live in this area in this town but it's super cute definitely enjoying my day here i think a day is perfect for me like i don't feel like there's a ton else that i would want to do here Obviously, I'm not really like exploring that much. I'm just kind of walking around, but I feel like it's a perfect little stopover on my way to Miami and I'm honestly just getting excited to get to Miami. So after my long drive tomorrow, it will be time to move in.
o'clock. I just got back to my hotel. Been out for four hours. I'm exhausted. I like collapsed on the bed as soon as I walked in my room. And honestly, I would love to just lay here for like another hour, but I'm feeling really anxious to go shoot my content before the sun goes down too much because it's already pretty chilly, let alone in the shade with no sun. So I want to just go do that. And then I can put something a little bit comfy on and chill for a few hours before I go back down for dinner and then really chill the rest of the night in my room in bed in peace. Happy Wednesday, it is February 7th and today I'm actually crossing the Florida line which I'm so excited. There's nothing exciting tonight, I'm just staying at a random hotel off the highway that's like a few hours from Miami just to get me close enough that tomorrow I have an easy drive before I move in. So there's nothing exciting tonight but I am just very excited that I'm getting closer to the move and I've had such a good time here in Charleston but as you can see I'm checking out and heading to my car. It's a little bit after 11, so I'm a little bit late, but I'm on my way out. And then after I check out, I'm gonna go about 10 minutes up the road to this place called The Wanderer, Wanderer, and just kind of check it out. I'm not really sure what it is. It looks like it's like a wellness space slash social club slash event venue. Don't really know, it looks cool. And the nice thing about this hotel is they give you like a wellness passport. So you can either get a day pass there while you're staying here or like a class at some other fitness studio in the area, which I really love. And this place looked cool. And I'm sure I've talked about this before, but I plan on opening a holistic center in Florida at some point. So I feel like it's nice to just kind of get inspo. And I don't know, I mean, I already have a vision for how I want mine to look, but it doesn't hurt to kind of see what some other ideas look like. So I think I'll just check it out quickly before I hit the road. I have, it says a six hour drive today, but I'm gonna plan for seven because the other day it said eight and it was nine. So still a long drive, but I don't think it'll be as long as the other day because nine hours was a lot and somehow that went by smoothly. So not too worried about today, but I do wanna get moving so I can get on the road and get down there. So I'll see y'all sometime today, I guess, or actually I'll see y'all at the place I'm about to stop at. That space was so cute. I just did yoga in the yoga room, as you saw, and it was heated, which felt so freaking good. I just crave warmth, and the sun is not really hitting because it's so cold out. 
I can't wait to get to Florida where it's warmer and I can't wait to live in Miami where it's warm all the fucking time. I'm just not meant for cold spaces. So glad this will be hopefully one of the last times I have to be cold again. But I'm heading back to the car now and I am going to stop at Whole Foods real quick. I'm starving. So I either need to get something at Whole Foods right now or eat some of my food that I have. I don't know, but I need something because I am hungry and definitely not gonna be able to drive with me feeling this hungry. Okay, I just stopped to use the restroom at a rest stop, but I had to share that I'm in Florida. Yay, I just crossed the state line not too long ago and stopped here. Um, I've been on the phone with a friend for a while, so I am about to get on the road, but this is so random. I wanted to show y'all. I went to get tissues before my trip because I knew I needed some for the car and just for my room. And look what I found. I feel like that's so perfect for my Florida girl vibes. So love it. I'm a Florida girl now, officially. Hey y'all, it is 7.30. I just checked into my hotel. It's a random little two-star hotel off the highway i don't even care at this point i just need somewhere to fucking sleep i have two and a half more hours in the morning so ready to get there and i'm so happy i made it here safely the drive today wasn't as like it was smooth but it didn't go by as quickly as the other day ironically even though the other day was longer i didn't have as many friends to chat on the phone with today so i feel like it just felt longer also i started my period today so that did not help and i think i'm just like so exhausted from the walking around day yesterday the long driving day the day before all the days of packing and preparing and tomorrow's going to be a long fucking day because i think my cramps and period are gonna hit me and all the exhaustion are gonna hit me like a freight train and tomorrow's my busiest day with all the move-ins so I'm already excited to collapse in my new bed tomorrow. Um, thankfully, I don't think, well, I think I filmed myself talking about the drama with my bed frame, but then cut it out because it's such a long clip. Long story short, there was all this drama with UPS trying to deliver my bed frame through from Amazon. And it finally got delivered today, thank God. And my mattress also got delivered, thank God. But my plan was to have the bed frame come when i get there or before i get there so i could put it together and then put the mattress on it but there's no fucking way i'm gonna have energy for that tomorrow so i'm just gonna literally sleep on the mattress on the floor and then put the bed together friday and it'll all be good so i'm just excited to get there i'm like very just happy and excited and like feeling positive about the whole move but i feel like it hasn't fully hit me yet because i'm not there so i'm just excited to finally be there tomorrow but I'm gonna chill the rest of the night. I'm about to eat my leftovers and either watch something on TV or edit my third packing vlog, probably both, <laughs> um, and then call it a night. So I'll see y'all. Actually, I'm ending this vlog here. Just kidding. Come back for the next one because I'm gonna start a new vlog tomorrow morning, which will be my move in vlog. So like moving vlog part two. So if you're not subscribed already make sure you subscribe come back for that come back for all my other miami content and make sure you follow me on instagram if you're not already and if you're already subscribed and you've been here for a while i love you i love all of you for watching and i can't wait to see you in the next video bye